How much hate do you think the devs of Respawn, who are responsible for the most beautiful Battle Royale game that we have come to know as Apex Legends, how much hate do you think they deserve for the continual discovery of these bugs that get exploited where people are gaining max RP for alt and F4ing and ranked on the PC, people are finding their way underneath the map on World's Edge, people are punching each other inside the dropship to get them down. <laughs> This is a long list. I don't need to. I don't really need to go on. But yeah, my name is Ragtag. I am the greatest gutter tier gamer on the face of this earth. Top 5 millionth rank. I am incredibly inconsistent, amazingly average, and a whole host of other self proclaimed titles that really aren't important right now. What is important is you're thinking, wait. Where's the face cam? Where are those luscious locks? Where's your beard? Well, I thought I would just turn the camera off today for two reasons. One, I look like Wurzel Gummidge, who is a TV character. Basically, looks like a living scarecrow. And the other reason is I want to take a little cheeky look at the analytics to the result of this video to find out which is more successful. Uh, it may just be that this topic is better. But anyway, I'm going to experiment with it. And, uh, but the main reason is I can't be arsed and shut your mouth. Right, so what I want to do is I want to put myself out there and give you my opinion. I also want to look at both camps of, you know, the people who, who believe that feedback of any kind, and if it includes insults, is completely warranted given the severity of the bugs, and those who believe that feedback should be measured so that the devs, you know, can work uh, their magic without feeling that they're getting death threats and all that kind of thing. Right, so I'll, I'll put myself out there first and say I am of the camp that is experiencing problems with the game. Now my problems are crashes. I get crashes, it might be to do with my hardware. The RTX 2080 Ti and the i9 are presenting some problems with Apex Legends. I feel like that there is something that is not simpatico from the hardware to the, the software. And I get you know these messages saying that my device was removed and reinserted like my graphics card or something like, no it wasn't. It wasn't because I was there sitting next to my PC not removing it. So, get that one up your urethra. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that, that wasn't to you devs, that's, that's just to the message that your, your game sent me. Right, okay, so my own feeling is that constructive criticism is important for the devs. They have to get it, and they need to get specifics. Now, the people who think that it's okay to shout at the devs and give them, you know, this free well let's have a think about it i'm not scripting this by the way so and i'm not editing either so if you don't like it yeah get that one up the poop shoot yeah so i think it's free flowing vitriol expletives profanity and whatever else of you know you can verbally inflict upon them that they believe that they are entitled to do that because of the frustrations that the devs have caused them now I both agree and disagree with this, uh, with this, I don't know, what is it, it's like a, a viewpoint. And that is because if you're having a bad day already or a, a reasonably whatever day and then something comes along that you didn't enjoy in the game and then you end up on the forum and then say something, I don't know, along the lines of, let me just find it here. Man, I'm, I'm loving this not, not editing thing. Right, here it is. Hey, I don't understand something. Is there some people from Respawn playing their game? How is it possible to match with three people who choose to play Octane, for example? I'm in Octane, so I choose Octane to queue and I'm frequently matched with people who are the same legend. I end up frequently with Caustic or Keep that I really don't like to play because I'm pissed off at someone take my man. I go on and I voluntarily dying fast because I'm very upset by the dev who can't slash don't want slash whatever making a matchmaking with three people with three different legend choice. Is this so hard to code? Are you not interesting by the feedback of your customer? That'll do, right? <laughs> right? So, when someone says that they frequently end up with Caustic or Gimp because they couldn't get Octane, first of all, they've done what I'm doing, and that is I'm, all, I'm often on my phone or I've turned away or I've, I've gone to take a big shite, you know, during the character selection, and I have left Octane or whoever it is as my default. Someone else takes it, and yes, it often does default to Caustic or Gib. Don't know, don't know why it does that, by the way, but I think it is just, <laughs> it's just very, very bad RNG. Bad luck RNG. Now, complaining that you have been matched with three other people who choose to play Octane. That is one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard in my life. Yes, you're going to meet people who made the same hero now and again, and it's going to feel worse when it happens twice in a row or whatnot, but this kind of feedback is ridiculous. I, I don't know why people even bother typing it on the page. I don't know how stupid it is to see that kind of thing. Um, I actually made a similar comment to this person, though. 
<laughs> Time to own up. No, I actually have made a similar comment to this person though, but not for Apex Legends, for Overwatch, where when there was no role queue, you would find that um, there were people who liked playing Mercy on the same team. And there were like four of them matched into the same game on a 6v6. So back then, that was really, really damaging to the game because they were hero types um, in terms of, you know, healers, uh, damage dealers and tanks where if you got four people who just healed and didn't damage deal or tank, it was actually very, very, very disruptive. And uh, yeah, it, it crushed, it absolutely crushed my ranked experience. But this isn't Overwatch, this is Apex Legends, and every legend can fire an R301 as good as the next one. So the attributes of the passives, the ultimate, the abilities and all that, they're just bells and whistles, so I ain't got no sympathy for this dude. But the devs have to deal with feedback and somehow assimilate it uh, interpret it, you know, just... I, I think it's easier to do if the community can be quite clear. So if we take... Let's take one that they've changed. What have they changed recently? They changed... They changed the charge rifle, right? So if I was to give feedback on the charge rifle before they changed it, I actually went through different thought processes. I didn't think it was too bad until I'd used it a lot more. Then I was like, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, the charge rifle actually does laser people from across the map and the energy ammo cost feels like players can indefinitely deny areas to the point where not having a charge rifle puts those on the receiving end at a considerable disadvantage. I'm sure they could assimilate that, you know, and, and think, okay, yeah, talking about the hit scan element, denying areas, and it doesn't cost very much to use, and if you don't have a charge rifle, it feels very imbalanced. Got it, okay, cheers for the feedback. But that's not what they get. They get a lot of stuff like this. Ah, you scumbag losers, you didn't test this patch properly, and you've put a weapon in that's broken the game, and I'm not touching your stupid piece of shit battle royale until you remove the charge rifle, or at least make it a care package item, for God's sake. That one encapsulates a feeling, but it doesn't actually help the devs work out what's wrong with the charge rifle. And I think this is one of the issues that, that devs in general have. And the other thing I'm, I'm starting to notice as well is, on Twitter, there's a lot of other... No, I don't want to say competing game devs, but game devs saying, I'm a dev and I wouldn't do that to my game and I wouldn't do a rebel. So they have to deal with other devs. That's freaking colleagues telling them, pulling them up on their mistakes and all the rest of it. I think they do have a hard time of it. You have to remember there's, there's two ways of thinking about developers um, on a game. Uh, one is the consciousness of the individual and one is the consciousness of the company. And that is where essentially they make decisions as a company where, you know, the individuals concerned may have differing viewpoints, but the company can seem extremely evil or, you know, misguided um, due to what they feel is overall best for them. But the individuals, when they're um, sort of pulling apart the feedback and all the rest of it, I'm sure some of them are responsible for individual parts of the game and get deeply hurt by some of the things that are said to them. Now, you can easily just say at this point, uh, they've opened themselves up to it, they deserve it, they put this out. Well, yeah, that's the point of view, but the, the thing about it is, are people going to get better at their job if you shout at them and tell them the pieces of shit and that, you know, <laughs> that they deserve, you know, death or whatever because they can't do their job? Um, I, I honestly don't believe that anyone does their best when someone's kicking them in the mud when they're down. I don't think you're suddenly going to motivate them to do better. So if you send overwhelming hate without specifics, I just don't think it does any good whatsoever. All you're doing is fueling this mass negativity that probably makes people not want to turn up to work in the morning, but they have to do it anyway. So a lot of people out there don't like their job. And being a game developer must be a love-hate thing. Where you love the idea, you love the, you know, what it is that you're, you're putting out, but you hate a certain aspect of it, and that is how much negativity comes your way. Now, of course, you can just turn around and say, hey, if they did their job properly, then this wouldn't happen. And you'd be right, at least when it comes to the bugs that we've been experiencing, they would definitely not happen. But then people would find another thing to complain about, and then another thing to complain about. They would complain about the R99, which I think is still going on, by the way. Uh, so for all you all trying to get the R99 nerfed, can you shut your faces? Because I actually like that weapon. It requires some skill to use, so... When I get my battle mod on and I'm actually facing the right direction and tracking correctly, I get my reward, which is lasering anyone stupid enough to come close to my wraith. And when I fail and they're up in my face and they've got a prowler with an extended mag or an EV with a double tap trigger, then I eat it right in the cock bag and I take my punishment. 
But you can't just get lasered by the R99 and then declare it an unfit for use weapon. But that is the state of community mindset. They will take what feels unfair, encapsulate it in their feelings in a, in a post or whatever, and then unleash it on the devs. So if there were no bugs in this game, you would not see the end of negative feedback. That's just life. My own thoughts on this is, I suppose it's like asking this question, can the devs do better? Yes, they definitely can. But are they doing a good job of the game so far? Hell yes. I think they are doing a terrific job. I'm really, really satisfied with this game. It has held my attention longer than anything else in the last seven months or so. So I know for a fact that they're doing a good job. The fact, you know, the simple thing is we just want it to run perfectly. We want it to run without any hitches and it ain't a perfect world in an ever-changing landscape in a Battle Royale game like this. But uh, I'm prepared to accept some of the, the rough edges that we get. And I think that the feedback that we give the devs, you know, should reflect how we're feeling at any one time. But it should also contain lots of specifics. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you just think that I'm straight up wrong? The devs should be getting exactly what they deserve. And uh, it doesn't matter whether that comes in the form of specific feedback or not. Jeez, I'm starting to slur my words. I've not even had anything to drink. Take it easy. Shut your fucking mouth. Catch you the next one. Later.